If you've invested a lot in your turntable, tone arm, and cartridge, you definitely want to make the most out of it. In these tutorials, I'm going to show you how to make your turntable sound awesome. Hi, my name is Lauren from Analog Magic. In the last video, we learned about azimuth. In today's video, we are going to learn about VTA. Vertical tracking angle refers to the angle of the tone arm when viewed from the side. This in turn determines the stylus raking angle, or the SRA. It is the angle in which the stylus is raking the record grooves at. The theoretical assumption is that the optimal SRA angle is the angle at which the LPs are cut. In most cases, this will be 92 degrees. If the VTA angle is set too high, the sound will be tipped up where the frequencies are exaggerated and low frequencies will become recessed. If the VTA angle is set too low, the reverse will happen where low frequencies become fat and wooly. A good starting point will be to start with a perfectly horizontal level and gently raise the height of the pivot column or the back of the tone arm to approximately 15 degrees. There are many tools on the market which allow you to gauge the vertical tracking angle. The Acoustical System Smart Stylus is such a device. It is an acrylic block imprinted with grid lines which allows you to gauge the horizontal leveling of the tone arm. Some people will even buy USB of microscopes to enlarge the stylus onto their computer screen in order to achieve the perfect 92 degree angle. Visual methods provide a good starting point for the VTA measurements, but it isn't without its shortcoming. First of all, there is no guarantee that you are eyeballing it at the correct angle. A slight tilt of your head or your eyes and the target will be off by a few degrees. Secondly, there is no optimal way to determine the true center point of the stylus. It is a guesstimate at best. Thirdly, all visual methods rely on a static platter where the LP is not spinning. Assuming if you can visually set the stylus at 92 degrees, the angle will immediately change as soon as there is a dragging force created by the grooves of the LP as it rotates with the platter. So how do we measure the VTA? We have to understand how the 92 degree angle was derived in the first place. The theoretical 92 degree angle is a level which is assumed to produce the lowest number on a measurement called the intermodulation distortion. So if the lowest intermodulation distortion is what we're after, why not simply measure this number? That is exactly what analog magic software will do for you. Using the analog magic test LPs, which are recorded with a test tone specifically designed to work with the special algorithms which we've incorporated into our software. Simply play the VTA test tone and the software will compute the intermodulation distortion percentage for both the left and the right channel. As you change the VTA and repeat the test tract, you will find a correlation between the IMD percentage number and the corresponding VTA angle. The optimal VTA angle can be found when the screen shows the lowest intermodulation distortion. We believe that this is the most accurate method of determining VTA because it is based upon actual live measurements while the LP is spinning. The results will not be affected by any errors based upon visual methods. It is important to note that the VTA measurement is highly sensitive to vibrations. You may need to minimize the vibrations experienced by the turntable before you engage in this measurement. Make sure to watch the tutorial where we talk about minimizing vibrations. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to watch the next video where we talk about anti-skating.